Hey everyone, Alan here. I just got access to the new speech to text beta from Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I applied to this back, I don't know, the end of 2020. Um, they were taking early test applicants and they gave me access. So I thought I would kind of make a little video that shows you guys how this feature works. That way once it's finally released to the masses, you have a little bit of a better idea. Now, again, this is a beta and there's a lot of features that I don't see right now that I'm going to assume they'll add in later iterations. So let's go ahead and go through this. I have a little intro video here that I have made. Um, nothing crazy. It's about a minute long and I want to create a transcription of what I say in this video. Now this works a lot like what YouTube already does when you upload it, it kind of auto generates those captions. But if you're like me, those captions are not good enough because there's no capitalization, there's no punctuation, and it misses a lot of words if you're not super articulate and slow in your speech. And that also doesn't work for accessibility, which is becoming increasingly more important as we create online content. So let's get started here. We come up to window in the menu bar, Come down to the new text panel, open up text. Every time it kind of compresses here, I'll expand this out and I want to transcribe this sequence. When I do this, a transcription details dialog box pops up. Now I could have multiple options here under the transcription settings. I could only transcribe a audio track that I've labeled as dialog. In this case, I did not. Or we could have audio from a specific track. Now I have all of my audio and audio one, I have a music track and audio four. Now, if I had multiple lines of dialogue on multiple audio tracks, I could always choose master. In this case, I'm going to choose audio one since that's where all my dialogue lives. I also want this to be in English. And since it's only a minute long, I don't have an in and out point. There's nothing else in my timeline. I'm not going to constrain this to the in and out points. So I'm going to go ahead and hit transcribe and let it do its thing. Now I put a, timer down here. It was a minute long video and it took just about 45 seconds to complete the transcription. So it's a little faster than real time. Now, once it works its way through, it gives us now a transcription of everything that's being said. I can click on the words and my playhead snaps to that particular area, which is really cool. I can even search for a given word. So if I wanted to search for the word help, it's going to show me every single time I say the word help. Now, so far I've run about four of my tutorials through this ranging from six minutes all the way up to about 30 minutes. And I've been really impressed with how consistent the transcription is. I've only had to change a few words so far. So let's play this and listen. Hey everyone. I'm Alan. Understanding how to communicate in the digital world is no longer just a luxury. It's a necessity. And that's why I've created this channel to help teach people how to communicate in the digital world. And to do now, if you do need to make some changes, you can simply double click the whole block of text up here, and that's going to bring up the editor. And so we can make some changes. I can add some commas. Like for example, I want it up here to say, hi, I'm Alan period and then capitalize the next word. Now, a few UI things that we can do, we can change our speaker. So if we have multiple speakers, we could add their names. In this case, I'm going to edit speaker one and make it Alan and then simply click save. Now they also have a feature that lets you replace a given word with something else. So if I search for the word that I'm looking for and I can type in the word that I want it to be replaced with, um, it will theoretically swap those words through the entire transcription. And I wasn't actually able to get this to work, but I, it took me a little bit to like undo my, my selection. And then I had to redo it until those replace and replace all buttons actually became active. But even once they became active, pressing them didn't do anything. And so either that's a user error on my part, or it's just part of the beta that's not working super well yet, but this would be huge. The ability to change perhaps a typo that was consistent throughout the entire transcription with just the press of a button. Now we have this create captions button. So if I've edited this, I can hit create captions and I have different options. My formats here, I'm going to choose subtitle for now. Style gives us nothing create from sequence transcript, which we want to do. And I'll hit okay. And it's going to automatically parse those out at their proper time codes. Let's check this out. Hey everyone. I'm Alan. 
understanding how to communicate in the digital world is no longer just a luxury. And then just like the YouTube auto captions, it gives us now our time code and our text here. Now I don't necessarily like how it gives us so many lines, um, but that's okay because we can actually combine different lines together. So if I wanted to combine this one with the one above it, I just hit the merge segments. You also have a split segment button as well. So I'm gonna merge that. And now this is one long sentence up here. Now, something they don't have right now is the ability to export this as say an SRT file. And I think that they will eventually add this, at least they say so in their beta web page. And that would be absolutely huge. The ability not only to create burned in captions, but then to export that caption file for social media and YouTube alike, that's gonna revolutionize captions within your NLE. And if Adobe can really nail this, it's gonna completely put the YouTube auto captions to shame. So this is how we start to work with captions in the new speech to text beta inside of Premiere. I'm excited to keep playing with this. I'm excited to give them some feedback when they ask for it because this is gonna be a really good feature for people that make tutorials, people that are making online classes, or just people that make a lot of content and want their content to be accessible to everyone. So again, I'm Alan. If you guys want, check out the rest of my channel. I, I teach Premiere, I teach After Effects, I teach Photoshop, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed seeing this sneak peek to speech to text.